What's going on, movie goers? If you're new to the channel, my name's Christian. Welcome to SeaWorld Productions. Black Widow, you guys, has officially arrived, and I have seen it amongst many other people as well. Now, Black Widow has did huge at the box office, huge success for opening weekend. Put, the, put things in perspective for you. About 2 million households ordered Black Widow through Disney Plus's early access premiere, right? That came out to about 60 million plus. Putting Black Widow just a little bit over $200 million opening weekend. That is a huge win for Disney, you guys. And I am so happy. Black Widow definitely deserves it. I mean, this is a film that should have been told years ago. And I'm so happy that Scarlett, Scarlett Johansson definitely got the light of day to actually see her own film, her own solo movie within the MCU, you guys. Like I said before, it should have happened a long time ago, but I'm happy it's actually coming out now, especially with all the delays, you know, during the whole pandemic. But man, this movie didn't disappoint. Now, right off the bat, you guys, we're going to be talking spoilers. So let's talk Taskmaster first, since that's the hottest topic on the internet right now. Taskmaster. Oh my God. Yeah. Now, let me ask you guys a simple question. I want you to post your comments down below. Very simple question. Are you okay with Marvel Studios gender bending men characters into women characters? And if so, can they gender bend women characters into men characters? Because that seems like the, the, the trait that's happening right now with Marvel Studios. For instance, Makari in the Eternals film is going to be played by an African-American woman. And in the comic books, it's traditionally, it's, it's a man. Taskmaster. It's a man. But in Black Widow, to fit the narrative of the story, she was created. She was created. The character was created for a female character. I was like, oh, interesting. I necessarily didn't have a problem with it. A lot of people didn't really like the way they utilized Taskmaster. I thought it was such a unique idea to kind of have, you know, Taskmaster be related to Drakeoff and shit like that. And I'm like, Man, and, and the way she becomes Taskmaster is, is excruciating and sad. You know, the fact that Nat was stooping to these low levels of killing children just to go after him. I was like, man, that's, that's, that's heartbreaking. And you can see it. Like, when she made the call, you, you, just, you see the look in her face. She didn't want to make that call, but she had to use her to get to him. And she thought he died, but he didn't all these years. So essentially, she failed. And I was just heartbreaking, man. But man, I, like I said, it, the, the, the topic of discussion right now is Taskmaster. It really is. Um, I love the scenes that she was in. She was badass. Every time her, you know, she had the, the, the walk going on, the heavy steps. I love the way she fought. I love the whole mimicking thing. She was watching Black Panther and Hawkeye go at it. I just loved the feel of Taskmaster. And I'm happy that they didn't kill this particular character off. I'm really happy because Marvel's known for shit like that, killing off, you know, villains that could, you know, really utilize and, you know, do super well in the MCU moving forward. So I'm happy that they didn't kill her off. Really excited that, you know, we might see a continuation of the Taskmaster. Who knows? We don't know when. But man, a lot of big things shine for me. The Red Guardian, David Harbour, oh, loved him. I loved his prison scenes. I just loved whenever he was on screen. He just really captured the essence, the comedic moments, the comedic relief of the film. Alongside of uh, Yelena Belova. I mean, oh, Florence Pugh nailed this shit. I was so impressed. I was like, man, there's so many great things in this movie. I was like, can I get a spinoff of just The Red Guardian and... You know, uh, freaking Yelena Belova. I, I, I love those two characters. I love their costumes, especially the Red Guardian. It was just so funny, man. There's so many great moments. Uh, so one of the funniest moments was when they're at, you know, they're in that house and they, they, they find Melina or whatever. And, you know, they're getting infiltrated and this fool gets shot with a dart. And he's like, oh, dude, there's nothing. And all of a sudden, do, 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 like 10 darts are in his chest and he just drops. That shit was so funny to me, man. But what was so surprising to me was the, the amount of heart and emotion that all of these brilliant actors and actresses were able to really perform through. It was just gorgeous. It was sad. It was heartbreaking, especially the scene when they're at the dinner table 
and you know they're talking about how this life wasn't real you're not my family it's fake and you can see Yolanda breaking down because she's the youngest she's the youngest out of you know Nat and it's it's hurting her because to her it was real like you guys are the, the only family that I've ever had you know the red room and the black widows that's not my family like it was getting to her and this shit was sad and she had to walk away but man there were so many heartfelt moments that, that I felt at least you know what I mean but yeah, like I said, man, the Red Guardian and, you know, Yelena Belova definitely, you know, big time scene stealers for me. Absolutely loved it. And I just loved the, the, the storyline of redemption and family and faith. And I, I really grasped onto it. I, I really did. And the action sequences, you guys, were so damn good. So good. I love the fighting scenes. The fighting scenes between, you know, Nat and Yelena. I was just like, oh, and the Black Widows, man. Oh, man, the Black Widows and... And trying to find the Red Room. And, you know, where's the Red Room? And all of a sudden, you know, it's in a satellite spaceship up top. You know what I mean? Because she's trying to go off. And she's trying to go after Draco. And, you know, it, that storyline. I love how it comes full circle. It was mentioned in the first Avengers by Loki. You know what I mean? Because Hawkeye had gotten to him. And, you know, they were talking whatever. And he knows the full backstory of Black Widow. And, you know, it just comes full circle. And I love it. Because Draco's daughter, you know, too much, you know read in your ledger like all that shit it comes back to you and i'm like man that's a great callback to you know earlier stages of you know phase one i, I just really love that aspect of this film you guys and all in all man i i natasha this i felt like this should have definitely came before infinity war and endgame it, it should have had i mean i understand why it didn't but the, the, the closure of, you know, her family and the backstory and the opening sequences of the movie and to see her as a kid and them on a run, you know, with her adopted parents and, and then them bring brought, you know, to the to the red room and, you know, being experimented on and, you know, all that crazy shit that they go through and just really, it was powerful. I loved that opening sequence. It was so awesome, man. I was like, oh, I can definitely get behind this shit, dude. And uh, what's his name? I loved her, her one of her closest friends. Uh, what's his name? F Fagmental? O-T o o o Fagmental? I think that's his name. Who I thought was going to be Taskmaster, but wasn't. Because um, <laughs> I could have sworn. Everybody's, oh, he's going to be Taskmaster. That's Taskmaster. I was like, okay, Taskmaster's going to be your brother. Cool, whatever. Um, but no, he just ended up being somebody, you know, somebody Nat could really rely on whenever she needed some shit. You know what I mean? And I love the whole thing. Because she was on the run. Because you know, essentially, this takes place after Civil War. You know what I mean? So she's on the run. You know, uh, Ross is after her and, you know, she's trying to escape. And I, there were some moments I thought he was going to get her. But that whole scene when she was on the boat and she just drops the phone. She's like, fool, I'm not even where you are. I was like, damn, that's that's Nat right there. I love it. Um, post credit scene. Holy shit. Woo! Okay. So I predicted it. I was like, it's going to it's gonna end in some kind of form of Yelena going back to the States. And, you know, something with, you know, Nat. And he, she's going to visit her grave. And, you know, paying respects. And all of a sudden, you see Valentina. I was like, hold on. I, we, I remember you from Falcon and the Winter Soldier when you were trying to cre uh, uh, not create, not create, uh, trying to recruit John Walker, U.S. agent. Are we going down the route of the Thunderbolts? Because now she's been in touch with Yelena Belova. And they worked together before. But then at the end of, the, at the end, at the end of that scene, she's like, this is somebody who you might want to go after responsible for your sister's death. I was like, you lying bitch. I was like, stop. No, Clint was not responsible. He was not responsible. And he had his Ronin suit on. I was like, oh man, so are you telling me that? Are we going to see a Kate Bishop versus Yelena Belova in the Hawkeye Disney Plus series? Because if so, that is going to be fire. I cannot wait to see that interaction. I cannot wait to see what Yelena is going to approach Clint like. How, what is she going to say to me? You killed my sister. He's like, what? No, I didn't. I didn't kill your sister. We were on Vormir, and she sacrificed herself to bring all you back. So if it wasn't for Nat, you wouldn't be here. None of you guys would be here. Ah, uh, that interaction is going to be so powerful. That's going to be so powerful, and I cannot wait to see that, man. But, oh, uh, dude, MCU is back, you guys. I love it. Can't wait for Shang-Chi and the Legend of Ten Rings. That is next. Coming out in September, then we have Eternals and Spider-Man No Way Home, you guys. But like I said, Black Widow definitely didn't disappoint. I loved all the family aspects of it. I love the action sequences. You know, I love the backstory of Nat and Yel Yelena Belova and the Red Guardian. You know, it just, I, I really enjoyed this movie, you guys. I enjoyed it a lot. And a lot of people are online nitpicking about certain shit. I'm just like, you're crazy. What are you talking about? So what, you know, Task I, I enjoyed Taskmaster. 
I really did. And that she doesn't necessarily have to be a good guy by the end of the movie. You know what I mean? You know, what if she's recruited by the Thunderbolts or some shit like that? You know what I mean? So you really don't know what's going to happen because eventually <clears throat> the Thunderbolts are going to be, you know, recruited and we're going to have a Disney Plus series or a movie. And if it's going to be involved around the Taskmaster or uh, the chick from Ant-Man and the Wasp uh, and Yelena and, you know, Abomination and uh, what's his name? Uh, Zemo, you know what I mean? It, it looks like that's the route that they're going next to. You know what I mean? And if I if we can get more Taskmaster, I'm 110% down because she was badass. And I'm sorry, but you can't tell me. Anytime she was on screen, you can't tell me she wasn't badass. Even the whole reveal, you know what I mean? When when Dracoff revealed the identity of the Taskmaster, I'm like, no, you didn't kill my daughter. This is her. And what you did, I had to put a chip in her head and mind control. And the whole mind control shit of this of this series, of not the series, of this movie was pretty interesting. I was like, man, so they actually are being mind controlled. So it's not like, you know, psychedelics, you know, they're, they're getting inside these girls' minds and, you know, it, they're like being controlled essentially. So he can make you kill yourself whenever he doesn't need you. Like, you know, in that beginning sequence when um, Nat was fighting that one Black Widow. And I definitely think, you know, with all the Black Widows, you know, coming together at the end of the movie that this is not the end. I would love to see a spinoff of the Black Widows and the Dora Milaje going at it. Or that, that would be so awesome to see because to see all those strong, powerful women just like the Dora Milaje definitely was awesome, you guys. But like I said, Black Widow definitely did it for me. Happy I see it in theaters. Cannot wait to own it. Comes out September on 4K. Super pumped about it. But post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys thought about the long-awaited Black Widow film directed by Kate Scholten. Thoughts and opinions, you guys. Let me know what you guys think about Taskmaster from Yelena Belova to the Red Guardian. Post your comments down below and let me know what you guys think. Peace.